Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 24th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Volcanic Activity Report for Week 24. As we are observing some eruptions from Etna, Mount Etna, from two nights ago, and as well overnight last night. Pretty sizable eruption here. You'll watch in the time lapse. Watch on the right hand side of the mountain. Big lava flows. And right now we are observing 47 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet for week 24, just about halfway through the year already. Another quick view of that first night eruption from two nights ago. Pretty sizable fountain of lava. So we're looking here at a volcano discovery. All of the active and erupting are the orange and red. And yellow are the ones showing signs of activity. So you're observing 47 active and erupting. And recently, the most active regions that have been or through Indonesia and as well the Mediterranean and of course through Central America down into South America and Africa and then interesting still developing situation through China the amount of earthquakes all right, so let's go through them all. We're going to start out here in Mexico, where we have active Popo. Activity continues at the Southwest Summit. Volcanic ash advisory for Fuego, Pacaya, and Santa Maria. Masaya volcano, minor ash fall there being reported. Sufrir, St. Vincent. And these three volcanoes in this subduction zone, we've had many earthquakes throughout the region, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. I'm a little bit concerned because we don't want any of these big bad boys going off. Overlooking South America, Nevada's de Rules, Reventador, and Sangay. Down into Peru here. Active Sabitkaya. Notable earthquake there. Middle of Peru. Further south here into Chile. Nevaras de Chilean. And as well, Villarica. Hop over to Africa. Where, of course, we have the active, still active, Nira Gongo and Nira Merigira. Cross Madagascar to Pinton de la Fornes. And as well, the active Earth de Ale, active lava lake in the summit. And then active Stromboli, continuing lava flows, and as well changing due to eruptive activity and collapse of the summit. Hence the flows on each side of the volcano right now. Down through Java with Cinnabung, and as well Karinchi. Krakatoa. And through Indonesia here, Merapi, Semeru, and Rung, as well Luwatolo. Volcanic ash advisory continues. Northern Indonesia here with Ibu and Dekono. And Tal remind, remains on alert level as well. Eruption warning. Through Japan here, Swiss and Ajima, 
and as well as Sakura Jima. And through Kamchatka and Russia, Ebeko Volcano, Karamiski, and as well Shuvluch. New Lava Dome being observed there through the Aleutian Islands, active Great Sitkin. And notable here, other three volcanoes along the Aleutian chain, Semistopoichnoi, Cleveland Volcano, down into Hawaii, active Kilauea, down into Papua New Guinea, and we've seen a lot of earthquakes here recently, Manam, Cadavor, and Langila, and as well Bagana. Looking at Yasser through parts of New Caledonia. And as well, the active and erupting mighty Antarctic Erubus. And I'm sure there are many more that we don't know about in Antarctica that could be erupting. And last but not least, Fregradas Folly in Iceland, who continues to take over the land on its way to the ocean. And that is from Volcano Discovery, looking at 43 active and erupting here, but altogether we are looking at 47 active and erupting, because I do combine here with the Smithsonian updates as well, and they have the long list here, as there are 47 active and erupting, Tunakula, Sarchev Peak in Russia, notables that aren't on the Volcano Discovery. And as well with the Volcano Discovery or Volcanic Activity Report, I'd like to share, of course, the air quality, but today I want to add something different, um, the heat. So we've got an extreme heat warning that is coming and we are enduring right now across North America, but it's just interesting where all this heat is coming from. And it's not really coming from the equator. I do believe that it's actually coming from the land here, especially through our active cascades. Wenatchee Reserve there, you can see that dark, dark region through Washington. But it's going to be 40 degrees, if not higher, through parts of British Columbia this week and up to almost 50 degrees through parts of central Washington. So heads up, everybody. We really have to keep an eye on the upper Pacific Northwest right now, even up into BC. But yeah, we've got a heat wave that is going to stretch right across Canada all week. We could be up into 50 degrees in parts of the United States. So heads up and stay safe, everybody. And let's have a look at the air quality report. And this is by Windy for the SO2 models for the next three days. And you can see there's quite a bit of SO2 coming off the coastline, BC, and as well through Alberta. And Drumheller. But all these spots across the United States surrounding the New Madrid is a little bit interesting. As well, observing quite a big cloud that came out of uh, Etna and is sitting over the Mediterranean right now. And the next three days is going to spread out over Africa. So watch out parts of uh, northern Africa for air quality, nasty sulfur air. And I like to combine the models with Null School as well. I'll leave you here just looking at the SO2 emissions coming off of our planet. And this is right now. Thanks, everybody, for watching. This has been the Volcanic Activity Report for Week 24. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now.